Hello everyone, welcome back to over YouTube channel, Mars Explorer Hub, Soul 6. If we zoom in closely, we can see how the light and shadow on this rock create the illusion of depth, as if it were intentionally carved. The outlines are precise, the symmetry is uncanny, and the texture looks almost sculpted rather than naturally broken. It almost feels like a forgotten statue buried for millions of years under the Martian dust and rediscovered by our rovers in the 21st century. Some researchers and independent space analysts argue that we might be underestimating Mars. They believe the planet may have once had a thriving environment, rivers, oceans, even an atmosphere thick enough to support intelligent life. They point out that if Earth civilizations can leave behind massive structures like the pyramids, then perhaps Mars, too, once hosted beings who left their own marks on stone. This idea sounds impossible, but science itself has taught us to expect the unexpected. Just a few decades ago, we didn't even know there were planets outside our solar system. Now, we've discovered thousands. So why couldn't Mars have once hosted life, and maybe even intelligence? If we look at the planet's surface features, they tell a fascinating story. Ancient riverbeds show that water once flowed freely across the Martian plains. Sedimentary layers prove that lakes once existed. There are even minerals, like hematite and clay, that only form in the presence of water. These are not the signs of a lifeless world. They are the fingerprints of a living one. But what happened? Why did Mars lose its atmosphere, its water, and maybe its life? Scientists believe that billions of years ago, Mars's magnetic field weakened and eventually disappeared. Without magnetic protection, the solar wind stripped away its atmosphere, leaving the planet exposed to deadly radiation and freezing temperatures. Over time, the oceans evaporated, the rivers dried up, and any possible life either perished or went underground. And maybe, just maybe, before that great collapse, the last of those intelligent beings tried to leave a sign of their existence, a symbol, a face. Now imagine this, a civilization living on Mars, watching their planet die. The atmosphere thinning, the water vanishing, the air turning toxic. In desperation, they carve faces into stone, a final message to the future, saying, we were here. Could the human head rock be one of those messages? A cry across time, waiting for us to find it? Some people might laugh at that idea, but remember, humanity itself has done the same thing. We've built statues, carved faces into mountains, and sent golden records into space with our images and sounds. If Earth ever perishes, those symbols will be the only proof that we existed. So why not Mars? When we analyze this rock, something else stands out. The eyes seem slightly uneven, the lips curved, and the chin shaped naturally. If this were a random formation, it's an extraordinary coincidence. If it were intentional, it's one of the greatest archaeological discoveries in history, not just on another planet, but in the entire solar system. NASA's Perseverance rover, currently exploring the Jezero crater, continues to send back high-resolution images of the Martian surface. Each image reveals something new, strange rock formations, odd shadows, and even shapes that resemble fossils. Scientists are cautious, but curiosity never sleeps. Even NASA engineers admit that Mars is full of visual surprises that defy easy explanation. Let's not forget the countless other anomalies spotted on Mars. A rock shaped like a lizard, one that looks like a pyramid, and even formations resembling doors and tunnels. Of course, most are natural, but their lifelike appearance keeps the mystery alive. The human head rock is different. Its emotional impact is powerful. It doesn't just look like a head. It feels like a presence, a reminder of something human, far from home. If you spend a moment just looking at it, it's easy to imagine this. Millions of years ago, a civilization standing on those same dusty plains, under the same red sky, looking up at the same stars we see today. Maybe they too wondered if life existed elsewhere. Maybe they sent probes just like we did. And maybe, somewhere deep beneath the Martian crust, traces of their cities still lie buried, waiting to be discovered. What if Mars wasn't the first world to die? 
What if it was once alive, filled with voices, and now stands as a silent graveyard of its own past? And here's where things become truly thought-provoking. The rock looks human, not alien. Does that mean we are somehow connected? Some ancient astronaut theorists suggest that life on Earth might have actually begun on Mars. They call it the panspermia hypothesis. According to this theory, when Mars was hit by massive meteor impacts billions of years ago, chunks of its surface, possibly containing microbes, were blasted into space and eventually landed on Earth. If that's true, we could all be descendants of Martian life. So, when we see a human-shaped face on Mars, maybe we're not seeing them, maybe we're seeing ourselves. A reflection of our own origins carved into the rock of our ancestral world. Now, let's talk about the scientific side again. The reason this rock captured so much attention is not just because it looks like a face, but because of how it sits on the terrain. Its orientation matches the direction of prevailing Martian winds, yet the erosion patterns don't fully explain its symmetry. That's why even some geologists admit it's one of the most peculiar natural formations ever photographed on Mars. Meanwhile, public fascination grows every day. Thousands of people have analyzed the image, enhancing it, rotating it, comparing it to human skulls, ancient statues, and even Egyptian monuments. Some see the resemblance to an ancient king, others see a warrior's face or a god. Whether it's natural or artificial, one thing is certain, this discovery has captured the human imagination. Because deep down, we all want to believe we're not alone. We want to believe that somewhere, sometime, someone else looked at the stars and wondered the same things we do. The human head rock has become more than just a rock. It's a symbol of our search for connection, a bridge between what we know and what we hope for. NASA plans to bring samples from Mars to Earth within the next decade. If one of those samples reveals evidence of past microbial life, the debate about intelligent life will grow even stronger. And if, against all odds, one of those samples contains something that looks even remotely artificial, humanity's understanding of the universe will change forever. So as we end today's exploration, think about this. Every time a rover takes a picture on Mars, we're not just looking at rocks, we're looking at history, mystery, and maybe even memory. The Martian landscape is silent, but silence doesn't mean emptiness. Perhaps it's waiting for us to listen. The human head-shaped rock might just be another coincidence, or it might be the first sign that we're part of a much bigger cosmic story, one that began not on Earth, but on Mars itself. So explorers, keep your eyes open and your minds curious, because somewhere out there, hidden in the red dust of another world, might be the answer to humanity's oldest question. Are we truly alone? Or are we just the latest chapter in a story written across the stars? Thank you for watching Mars Explorer Hub. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of the red planet, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible space discoveries and cosmic stories.